Well, praise God, this is the third day of our consecration. And today I did something a little different. I went out into the community and asked people a specific question. How do you handle difficult people? I want you to watch these clips. I would just tell them that, uh, you know, praise the Lord, and I'd walk away from them. Because that's about all you can do. Because you're not going to have difficult people, you're not going to get their, you know, now you're probably not going to get them to change your mind anyway. I uh, find it easier to deal with people when you deal with them on your own time instead of dealing with them when you have to. Deal with them on your own time, you can probably get over it a little better. The problem with difficult people is facing head on. Same way I handle that difficult people. As nicely as I possibly can without trying to insult them. <laughs> I think the best way to handle difficult people is to just kill them with kindness. The kinder you are, the more calm you remain, and um, I think that's the best way that I would handle a difficult person. Well, I, should, I believe that we should go by what the Bible says, first and foremost. And that when Christ said that we ought to pray about everything and anything before we make any type of move on any problematic issues, whether they be biblical, spiritual, or social. Then I believe that we ought to go to that person and just be able to love them and just work those things out that we find to be difficult at times in the mission. Praise God. You know, it was very interesting today to spend time talking with people today. And you know, the Bible says in Judges, chapter 3, verse 1, that these are the nations that the Lord left in the land to prove Israel. You know, if you look down to the fourth verse, it goes on to say that those people were left there in order to see if Israel would obey God or not. I want to tell you something. There are difficult people in our lives. Some people can just show up in a room and ruin your day. But you know what? Many of those people are left there because God wants to prove your heart. He wants to see what's in your character. He wants to see what's all about you. You need to know. You know, the best thing you can do for people who are difficult, you need to pray for them. You do unto others as you would have them do unto you. You don't do the way they treat you. You just love them anyway. God leaves difficult people in your life many times just to prove your character. Will you trust God today during this fast that he is going to do things for you? In Jesus' name, you be blessed and we'll see you tomorrow.